All right, so we were out at this home yesterday to do a, a septic tank cleaning. And uh, we found that the outlet baffle was deteriorated. And so we're back out today to do the repair. So I wanted to give a little uh, information on what that entails. So what we did here is we, we dug up the outlet lid. So this is an inspection lid that's over um, the outlet of the tank where it goes out to the drain field. And we'll get that pulled here in just a second and show you exactly what the issue was. Okay, and this uh, is a perfect example. So, let's see if I can get an angle where you can actually see this here. So you can see from this side, you can see the pipe that's going out to the drain field right here. There we go. So there's the outlet line. So that's where the water leaves the tank, goes out to the drain field. We need what we call an outlet device. There's several different styles. This was originally built with a precast concrete baffle. Now you can see the remaining part of the baffle is right here. So it's kind of like a concrete box. You can see down inside the tank there. That originally extended all the way up to the top of the tank. So you can see where there's a gap here. That would be covered up by that concrete baffle. And what that's there to do is it stops any uh, solids that are floating on top of the water. Now the normal water level will be right at the bottom of that pipe right there. So anything floating on top of there would get stopped by that concrete baffle and held back in the tank. And then this baffle, might be a little hard to see, uh, extends down into the middle part of the tank. And that's where the cleanest water is. So that, that clean middle zone, that clean water can come up the bottom of that outlet baffle, go out the pipe down to the drain field, and then we're holding back the solids in the tank. And what happens is uh, over time the gases in the tank will eat away at that concrete on the top of the baffle there and it'll it'll start to deteriorate so um, what we're going to replace this with today is a PVC T and the, the first step we're going to need to go ahead and uh, remove the old concrete baffle below there so we have room to uh, attach our new PVC T outlet device Okay, so we just use uh, this bar here. Um, we use it for several things, but um, it has this nice pointed end on this side, and this works out nice for us to uh, remove uh, tank lids. Uh, we can get it right down in the corner, especially on these square lids, it works nice. And then on the other end, oh, it's got this, this flat end. And so that can be helpful getting lids out um, what is really nice for knocking these uh, outlet baffles out of the tank for us. So let's see if I can get set up here and get you a good angle of this. So I just wanted to show you where I hit these to knock them out. So um, I'll try and get it, hit it on an angle like this. And it's going to take two hands, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this on video for you. How I have it set up here, but um, it'll just take smacking this a few times and that remaining part of the baffle will uh, fall down to the bottom of the tank. All right, so now you can see we've removed most of that baffle. This outlet line, get another view of that, is a little bit on an angle coming in, into the tank. So we'll have enough room to get by that little piece of concrete sticking out there. I couldn't get a good angle on that to catch it, but you only need to remove enough 
that you can get the uh, the new outlet device in there without catching on the concrete. So we'll go ahead and put the start putting the outlet device together. Okay, so here are the materials that we'll need for uh, this installation of the new outlet device. Uh, we're going to have uh, some uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe, and we'll have a uh, and this is four inch pipe and then a four inch schedule 40 sanitary T. This piece here is you needed uh, on some installations and I'll explain more about that in a little bit. This is called uh, in uh, extend and lock and it's made by polylock and I'll put a, uh, a link uh, for where you can find this piece uh, down in the description. Uh, we'll need a PVC saw. Uh, you could use a sawzall as well, uh, and that's going to be used to cut down this piece of, of PVC pipe. And then we'll need glue and primer. Um, we use this rain or shine glue uh, that will set up uh, even in wet conditions. So in the septic tank, um, it's really important to use uh, that rain or shine glue so that it'll uh, set up uh, in any conditions, even when it's wet. Um, so what we're going to do. Um, I'll kind of show you above ground here. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to take this extended lock piece and it's going to get tapped back into the pipe that's going out of the tank. So the reason that we're using it uh, is because there's not enough pipe sticking into the tank uh, in order to attach our T to that pipe. Okay, so since the, the wall of the tank is about right here on that pipe, you know, there's not enough for this to grab. So what we do is we'll tap this extended lock piece back into that pipe. And these threads here will uh, help lock that in. And then that gives us the end here, uh, which is the same size as the Schedule 40 pipe that we'll be able to um, glue this T onto. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. And then there's going to be about 12 to 18 inches of pipe uh, glued into the bottom of the T here. And so this is going to do the exact same job as that concrete baffle. Um, the water level in the tank is going to be right here at the bottom of this line going out of the tank. All right. And this top, uh, or the T here, is going to stop any of the uh, solids that are floating on the top of the tank. We leave the top of the pipe uh, open uh, for uh, ventilation so it can't create a, a siphon and, and suck too much water out of the tank. And then the... Uh, pipe that we have off the bottom here is going to extend into that middle clear zone so the clean water will be able to come uh, from the center part of the tank up the bottom of the outlet device and then flow out to the drain field and then we're holding back any of those solids that are on the top of the tank which will be stopped by the outlet device here and then any sludge in the bottom of the tank uh, will be left on the bottom so we'll uh, go ahead and get this set up and uh, ready to install and we'll go back over to the tank and show you how it goes together And so you want to remove these burrs from the end of the uh, cut end of the pipe here. Make sure that it goes together okay for your in your fittings. So make sure you use a glove because that could cut you. And so this is going to be the bottom of the outlet device, the part that goes off the bottom of the T. So we can go ahead and glue the, uh, the entire outlet device together here before we go over to the tank. Now a quick tip with your glue and primer, a lot of times, especially when you buy it fresh from the store, or especially with the glue after you've been using it a little bit, um, the lids will get um, just seized down to the top. All I do is, is just find a, an edge on something, tap it a few times, and that'll pop open. Rather than fighting it with the wrench, um, sometimes just tapping it a few times is all it takes to get that loose. So we're gonna go ahead and prime our pieces that are gonna get glued together. So again, that 
outlet device is going to be up this way. So we're going to be gluing in this end to that extended lock and then the bottom to this piece of pipe that we just cut. And then we're going to prime this pipe that we're going to glue into the bottom of the T. And then we'll go ahead and glue this into the bottom of the T. So make sure you make sure you double check how you're holding that that t and you don't stick it in the wrong end usually once you uh once this glue sets up it's it, it it sets up very quickly so you will never get it back apart so you'll waste your waste your fitting and your pipe so we're gonna put a little bit of glue on each side so we get good coverage and then as we slide it in we'll spin it and that just will distribute that glue all the way around the fitting and make sure we have a good seal I just hold it because sometimes it'll want to slide back out um, you just hold it for a few seconds and it'll start to set up and really 15 30 seconds it becomes pretty pretty solid and I can't even turn this anymore so we're good there so this is what that outlet device is gonna look like so the outlet line is going to be here going out of the tank. We're going to tap in that extended lock piece here. So that'll extend that pipe out. Uh, so we have something to attach the T to. And we're going to glue this uh, T right to that extended lock. And uh, it's that simple. Okay, so we're going to see if I can do this one handed here for you. So we're going to slide this extended lock piece right into that outlet line. Okay. So it slides right in. Then we take, take a hammer, and this hammer, I just take the side. It shouldn't take a whole lot of effort. We tap it in all the way, and then that's locked in with those threads. And then what I'm gonna do real quick, I wanna, before I go to put the glue on, I wanna make sure this T is gonna fit in there for me. Sometimes you'll get in a situation where you, the, the pipe is in the way or something else is in the way. I, I just want to dry fit it and make sure it's going to go together. So it is going to fit and it's going to get past that concrete that's still hanging there. So we're good to go there. So we're going to go ahead and prime the um, that extended lock piece, the pipe end that we're going to attach to. Now the one hand move on the can isn't working very good for me. There we go. All right, so we got our primer. We'll get down here and prime all the way around. Obviously you wanna be very careful that you're not gonna let yourself slip down into the tank. Please use some help if you need it. All right, so that's primed. We've already primed the, the uh, fitting here on the T. So we're, that's ready to go. Um, I always, just a tip, on the inside of the pipe here, you can grab right here, It's there's kind of a lip. You can grab and you can really control that pipe a lot easier than trying to hold it on the outside somehow. Um, and that will help you uh, you know, first of all, not drop it down in the tank and uh, um, help you be able to get it uh, attached to that extended lock. Now, again, the reason we're using that extended lock is because there wasn't enough pipe sticking into the tank. So we needed to extend it out in order to attach to it. Um, if that pipe was sticking far enough into the tank, uh, we would be okay to not use that extended lock and we could just glue the T directly to that line.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this uh, T to the extended lock. So again, we need to hang down here. Be very careful not to knock anything down in the tank. So we're gonna get some glue on the extended lock extension all the way around. And in the same way in the fitting of the T that we're gonna attach. So the more good coverage you get in there, um, obviously it's gonna seal better it's also going to lubricate that fitting so it's going to slide on a little bit easier for you so now it's simple as sliding them together so if you kind of go back and forth and then you want to get it as straight up and down as you can and we can use the, t the hammer if needed you don't want to hit too hard because you can break that Want to make sure you get it seated all the way down as far as you can. And then that will set up. So that is how you replace an outlet device in the septic tank. So again, what we had, we started with concrete baffle. And I will get uh, some picture pictures put up here of what that originally looked like when it was in a good condition. But again, the gas is in the tank up above the water level. And again, the, the water level is right at the bottom of the outlet line here where it goes through the wall. So once this tank is filled back up, we just cleaned it yesterday. But once they use enough water to fill this tank back up, the, uh, that water level will stay at a consistent level right at the bottom of that outlet line. And um, so those gases above that water line will deteriorate that concrete causing it to fall apart. Once that happens, any solids floating on top of that water level can get right out of the tank and get out to the drain field. And that defeats the whole purpose of why we have a septic tank. The whole point of this system is set up to hold the solids back in the tank, let the clean water from the center part of the tank get out to the drain field. So we knocked the remaining part of that concrete baffle out of our way so we can have enough room to install the new outlet device. And we've replaced it with this PVC T. And again, we had to use that extended lock because we didn't have enough pipe sticking into the tank. And now we are uh, good to go. That T is gonna be holding that top layer of solids back in the tank and it extends down into the middle clear zone so the clean water can come up, go out to the drain field. And then any sludge that forms on the bottom of the tank will be left in there. Um, so we're protecting the drain field. Now, I don't have a filter with me, um, but uh, this is also a spot where a filter could be installed. So I will uh, get a picture and a, a link for a um, simple screen filter that we uh, will install sometimes. And this that can be, it slides, just slides right down inside the top of this T. Um, and that's just a an added uh, protection for the drain field. Uh, any solids that might be getting pushed up out of the outlet device uh, will uh, get caught in that filter. And uh, so a lot of counties that is now code for any new installations of the system, um, a filter is uh, required. So I, I appreciate you guys watching the video here and uh, hopefully that can help you out if you ever find yourself in uh, uh, the scenario where your pumper comes out and lets you know that the, uh, the outlet uh, concrete baffle is deteriorated or for whatever reason, uh, the outlet device is missing or has been broken off. It's not a uh, not a complicated procedure to replace, uh, as long as you're willing to get down and dirty a little bit. Um, it's uh, fairly inexpensive and uh, pretty simple. Uh, just putting a couple pieces of pipe together. And uh, uh, again, I'll I'll throw a couple links down in the uh, uh, description and uh, where you can find that extended lock uh, and then that filter that we we're talking about. Um, and so I hope this helps out and uh, let us know if you have any questions. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you.